Yeah, that's right. Generally, when they say when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. But uh, in South Africa these days, uh, it looks like if life gives you lemons, it's time to make profits. Uh, simply because the products of lemons are now so sought after worldwide, not only as an ingredient in food, uh, but generally as a, as a fresh produce as well, and the markets growing uh, around the world. I brought two lemons into the studio to showcase. First of all, this is a, a lemon with seeds. Uh, and these grow uh, in, in just about most of South Africa's lemon growing regions. And then you have the new uh, seedless uh, uh, lemon growing in parts of South Africa that's really becoming a sought after commodity because uh, of the uh, lack of seeds in these uh, and in South Africa's plantations being mature and, and growing these. But to understand a little bit about how lemons fit into South Africa's citrus production, it's one element, it's one category of South Africa's lemon or, or citrus production. This is called hard citrus. It's the stuff that doesn't peel so easy like narches and clementines, etc. But uh, South Africa is a great producer of this and is now starting to play in the top 10 in the world. So when we look at the graph of, uh, of how the graph of how South Africa is actually uh, performing in the world markets, you'll see that South Africa has in the last two years entered uh, the top 10 in the world. And this is quite significant in the fact that in the past uh, 20 to 30 years, South Africa was always batting at around about uh, 25 to 30 uh, in lemon producing environments. So something has happened from an export perspective, from a price perspective for South African lemon producers. Lemon and lime fits into the same category globally. So something has happened and you'll see that the world's biggest producing markets there are India. Uh, first of all, they produce about uh, three and a half million uh, tons uh, and uh, Per person of production is they produce two and a half or three and a half million of tons to 2.5 people uh, in their market. So our uh, efficiency is really incredible because we're producing about 650,000 tons of lemons per 11 people. So that means we're very efficient in the way uh, we're producing. So uh, to uh, get away from the, the global graph, one then has to look at uh, what are the areas in South Africa producing lemons and why is it that the areas that produce lemons uh, are, uh, uh, are, well, not only uh, efficient, but, uh, but also quite prolific in producing lemons for the export market. Uh, and that's because um, across South Africa, South Africa's temperature and climate is really suited to, uh, to lemon production. And here you can see from the Citrus Growers Association, uh, the chart that uh, Limpopo produces or has the most hectares uh, of, uh, of lemon producing, lemon and lime producing uh, citrus in, in the country. Um, and then followed by the Eastern Cape. And the Eastern Cape, of course, prolific uh, in, in some of that Sunday's Valley uh, producers areas um, and, and that's because the climate between February and September uh, is cold and there's generally good rains and good weathers in those parts of the country. But to also understand finally uh, you know the, the pressures that South Africa's citrus industry and particularly lime and lemons uh, are under, one also has to look at uh, the South Africa's uh, forecast is looking good for the next year or two but then there's a global decline coming again uh, and uh, in, in looking at those graphs, uh, one of the most important aspects to remember is the fact that globally, as you can see here, uh, South Africa is uh, scheduled to produce r uh, a higher crop than the previous year, than the 23 estimate, because of good rains, uh, good water, and also some global supply chain problems in getting citrus to world markets and, and global consumers. But you also see a decline in areas planting lemons and limes because an orchard takes about five years uh, to fully produce in South Africa. There is concern that perhaps, uh, you know, the profitability is being squeezed out, but new markets are opening up all the time. BRICS is a great place for South Africa to do business, and new markets like Vietnam and all those are opening up all the time. And that's why they say, when life gives you lemons in South Africa, time to make uh, lemonade and profits.